Praise the Lord. We welcome you, Power of God Ministries. Today, I want to share something that I learned from the Word of God. And, and the topic is, don't be greedy and don't lie to get the worldly things. And it's taken from Acts chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. Let's go into the passage. Now a man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, also sold a piece of property property with his wife's full knowledge he kept back part of the money for himself but brought the rest and put it at the apostles feet then peter said ananias how is it that satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the holy spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to a human being, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. And great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then some young men came forward, wrapped up his body and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that is the price. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the spirit of the Lord? Listen, the feet of the man who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at his feet and died. Then the young man came in, finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Many times in our life, we become greedy. We love all the worldly things that surrounds us and we want them. It could be anything, for example, money, power, fame, etc. All the other things. In order to gain them, we can go to any limit, just like this couple who in order to get fame in the church donated the money but actually kept back some of the portion from the money out of selling their own land and lied to the man of God, Peter the Apostle. We could lie to anyone but not to God and if we don't repent, punishment awaits us. Ananias and Sapphira both paid the price for lying and it was not good. We should not lie and be greedy. Greediness is something that starts from a little thing and it soon grows into a big thing. If we don't pay attention to it, when you start becoming greedy, another thing also starts and that is lying, which is again a sin in the Lord's sight. If these two things come inside of you, your flesh starts to take hold of your mind, heart and spirit. And once that has happened, it turns you into a chaos. Sin starts from a small thing which would end up giving the results what you never expected just like this couple who eventually lost their lives because of what they did. Sin starts greediness and lying starts small but grows and grows until it is full size and bad that brings destruction. Sin moves in a circle and one sin leads to another from greediness to lying stealing and on and on and in the end you get nothing except pain and punishment just like the way it happened to Ananias and Sapphira so friends let us not allow these small sins of lying and greediness take control of us and enter into us and grow only to destroy instead let the word of God grow in us that we may get fruitful results and have an abundant life. Praise the Lord.